In this video, I'm going to be showing you one of the easiest blitzes that you can run in this game and why this defense is so valuable to you um, at this point in the year. Now, if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit the sub button down below. Also, I'm in the 46 defensive playbook, and today we're taking a look at Nickel 33 Cub. Now, I personally just released a full defensive ebook on the Nickel 33 Cub formation. Um, and if you want to check that out, uh, just make sure that you join our Patreon. Our Patreon is only $10 to sign up for. And by becoming a member of the Patreon, you're going to get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all of the updates to those ebooks and any new ebooks that we release while you are in our Patreon. So for 10 bucks, you get access to, uh, I think, currently over 15 offensive and defensive ebooks and several updates to those ebooks that we've released uh, throughout this year. So what what I wanted to do is show you this really, really simple blitz setup out of Nickel 3-3 Cub. What I like to do is come out of Nickel 3-3 out of the 4-6 playbook because that's going to give me something that we're going to show you uh, that I think is really, really valuable. So if I come out of Nickel 3-3, I'll show you the blitz first, then we'll show you um, the other stuff. Uh, the play is Mike Blitz 0. And literally all we're going to do is we're going to stand in the gap that the game basically tells us to stand in. So as you see right here, we're able to get instant pressure off of the edge. Now again, if you want to get the finer details, and we actually have in the ebook a way to get this blitz to come in consistently against a blocked running back as well as against play action. So if you want to check that out, it's going to force your opponent now to have to max protect to be able to consistently pick this blitz up. Again, that is in the that is in the Patreon or that is in the ebook which is in our Patreon. So again, just by joining the Patreon, uh, you'll get access to everything. But anyways, you're literally just going to stand right here, and what you're going to notice is again the blitz is going to come in off of the edge pretty consistently. Now, um, you could, if you wanted to, uh, stand in this a gap, and what you'll see is the blitz will come in as well. So either side a gap is fine. Um, and then, but, but the problem is it's hard to adjust out of this. Let me show you what I mean. If I try to adjust my linebackers, it only gives me two of them. And then I actually technically have four defensive linemen based off the quick adjustments. So my adjustments are literally screwed up and it makes it really hard uh, to be able to adjust properly out of this, out of this playbook, out of this formation, uh, as you can see. So by coming out at nickel 3-3, three, three, it's not only going to give us better adjustments, but it's also going to give us more streamlined adjustments, which we'll show you right now. So if I come out in nickel 3-3, three, three, I can put safeties at the linebacker position. This is going to mean faster players. It's going to mean players that can come out and get instant pressure uh, at the quarterback. It's also going to mean that they're going to react in coverage better than linebackers. This is another really valuable reason to use a formation like the nickel 3-3. Three, three. So you're going to see here that if I come out in whatever play, I'm going to be able to just by audibly over one and then hitting Mike Blitz zero, we're in the same basic defense, except now we have safeties down here, and you're going to see how much faster this is going to come in. comes in much faster at the opponent. Now, the other uh, benefit of this defense is, like I said, it can come in against a blocked running back. We teach you how to do that in the Patreon. Uh, but also, what we're going to show you right now, and that is its ability to be over-adjusted. So one of my favorite things to do is to come out. I'm in this play right here. And then I am just going to outside third both of my corners, as you can see. This is also a split field safety defense, which is very advantageous for a lot of reasons. So if I try to man up these safeties, you see that they can man up on anybody on the field. So this gives me the ability to cross man different players as I would like to. So I could take these linebackers and I could put them on anybody in coverage. In this example, we'll put them on the outside dudes, and then we'll put these guys on the outside, or these safeties, you see how they now have inside leverage on these dudes. So you see here, the same exact look, but now we're in coverage, and this is really the foundation as to why this is one of the best defenses in the game. My opinion right now, this is actually setting itself up to be the best defense this year, um, and it might not even be that close. It might not even be that close this year. Honestly, uh, after we get all this stuff through, uh, after we uh, really get into all this stuff and, and the nuance of it and how well it can actually do against some of the meta pass protections that we're seeing, um, that is going to mean everything. It's going to literally make all the difference in the world uh, for this. As you, you know, So you not only have the ability to get the send five pressure to force them to have to block a tight end or block a running back, but now from the same exact look, 
I can be in completely max coverage, and they can be in coverage on all kinds of people. For example, in this right here, we're going to cross man everybody except for the slot. And so you see here now everything is crisscrossed, cross man. I just got to get back here and kind of help the initial read. And as you see, some confusing coverage, and we get great sheds from Nickel 3-3 Cub as well. It's a lot of value in this defense, and there's a lot of nuance to it that we teach you in the ebook. Uh, but I think this is truly one of the better defenses in the game right now uh, because of its ability to be able to get pressure uh, as well as be able to play pretty incredible coverage um, as well as the ability to uh, have match coverages within it, have great run defense. This is some of the best run defense in the game. I'll show you that real quick. So, like, if they try to run the ball, I can, you know, if, I, if I'm really anticipating a run, I could go to a defense like this, and now it's really hard to even get a yard. So this defense is extremely versatile, adaptable, moldable, flexible, as well as dominant, and creates some really, really good pass rush from this as well. Last thing I want to point out is, let's say that you're watching this and you're like, well, I'm going to blitz at replay. I don't necessarily want to have, um, you know, I don't want to necessarily have these these dudes here i want to have you know better better pass rushers right we're going to put shaq barrett and devin white out here and i want you to watch what we can still do from this so we can still bring these guys down and the beauty of this is we can still cross man them whenever we're ready to so we can put good pass rushers in here and still get these really good adjustments and what you'll see now is now you got really incredible pass rushers and they're going to be able to do a lot of other things that you might not have been able to do with just safeties at that position. So now that we have really good pass rushers, you'll see that they'll play a little differently um, and they'll be able to shed a little bit better. And you might want to do a coverage that looks something like this, where we're going to go with this defense, but then we're going to drop out of it with some zones. Maybe something simple like this. Uh, a very simple defense, but you're still going to get great sheds. Now what you'll notice is these outside guys, they're going to get one-on-one -on -one matchups on the outside, which means they're going to shed relatively quickly. Okay? So there's a lot of really, really good things you can do with this defense. If you're watching this and you want to learn how I run the 3-3 Cub defense, make sure that you join our Patreon in the description of the video for just $10. You're going to get access to all of our eBooks. All the updates to those ebooks, as well as any new ebooks that we release, you'll get the 3 3 Cub, as well as we're going to be releasing a brand new offensive ebook this week. So make sure you're in the Patreon. If you want to sign up, head down to the description below and just click the link that is in the description. Thanks for watching and hope to see you guys at the Patreon page.